Hello, in this video I want to explain how you can visualize automated testing. Imagine you want to build, let's get away from all that programming stuff, imagine you want to build like a small tower out of cylinders, uh, let's say, oh that's a little bit too big ink, let's say you have a cylinder and you want to make a tower, this is one cylinder, right, and you want to make a tower by stacking them on top of each other, so you just take another cylinder and you 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 finally have a tower maybe maybe you have a, a too big cylinder at once and then the next cylinder is a little bit too small and well you got your tower well it looks a little bit strange over here and um maybe it's a little bit unstable because this is a little bit too big and actually this should all be the same size but essentially it's a tower right um, but if you check it you check this one okay that's good size that looks good that looks good that looks good that looks good that looks weird. Uh, maybe that also looks weird. Maybe maybe that looks weird. These two look weird. This okay. And uh, but you you will eventually find this out if something goes wrong. If the tower falls down, you figure out well well there was there was one that was too big and there was one that was way too small. So this is like usual usual programming without no testing, right? Let's let's mark it with a sticker here. No tests. Okay, no tests. Okay, now let's go. Let's go to automated testing. How can you imagine automated testing? Imagine you have a cylinder here, and after you put in the first cylinder, you want to like you want to check is this the right cylinder? Does it have the right size? So what you do is like you have like a, a how you call that like a form? Can you call it a form or a shaper, something like this? This has a hole in the top, and it checks if this thing in the middle is really a cylinder of the right size and when you when you put this uh, form over the cylinder it will tell you well is the cylinder correct is it the right size is it too big and if yes well then that's fine then you can go on you take the next cylinder you put the next cylinder on top and again use uh, imagine that all cylinders are kind of individual so you you create another form right and you check again and you figure out, well, uh, that, that's also all right. And then you use another cylinder here like this. And again, you check your form. You check with your form. Let's go like here. And you figure out, well, well, that doesn't fit. Well, something's off. Well, it's too big. It's too, just too, the, the radius is too big and it's too tall. Like something's wrong. So uh, in this point, you figure out, okay, that it doesn't fit. It doesn't it doesn't match the form that it doesn't match the shape that you intended so you reconstruct it you destroy everything and you start again you try to build another cylinder and hopefully it mets your speculations and again you make a form maybe you use the same form that you just had to this uh, created now um, and you figure out it works so for every for every cylinder you pull up here you put up here you essentially create a form that checks is the cylinder really the cylinder right and this is how you can imagine testing or automated testing in this case right you check the surroundings maybe even the inner parts if it meets your specification okay what is what is test-driven development then? If, if this is automated testing, what is test-driven development? Test-driven development looks like this. You don't have a cylinder cylinder to start with. You actually have this shape thing to start with, the form to start with. And then after you have the form, you slowly build up. Well, that's to see the inner parts. And then from here, you slowly start building up. You slowly start building up the cylinder. And if you build up the cylinder like in this way, oh, shit, that's not good. So we have to remove that back, 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 back. Yeah, okay, bug fixed before we even get to deploy it. Yeah, and here you have your cylinder. Perfectly fine. And then again, for the next cylinder, first of all, you build the next form that ensures the cylinder has the right specification. And again, now you start again building off from, we have to start from here, right? you start building the cylinder. So for every cylinder you write, you, for every cylinder you create, you're very sure that it meets exactly this form. And this is test-driven development. So you first start with the form and then you start with the cylinder. While in testing, you might 
there are of course gray boundaries, right? In testing, you might first create the cylinder and then create some testing around it. And no test is like you just build the tower and hope everything works. But wait, there's something that's missing here, right? What if, imagine this is like a top view and this is the opening. And what, what if you have something with a triangle shape, right? And that's small enough to fit in this hole. Well, exactly, that's a problem. So when you write your tests, you have to write your tests so whatever you write can only be correct. So even if you write the wrong ones, it can only be correct. So you, you, you have no space for, for making anything wrong. So when you, when you fill in the cylinder here, then everything is all right. That is the difficult part when you write testing. And let's, let's remove this for a bit. Let's now compare the, the, how much work you have to do, right? If you, if you want to build a tower with this, you just have to do this, 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 this. And you can't get around this bunch of work, right? So no testing gives you essentially, seemingly, the, the least effort you have to do, right? But with, if, as soon as you use testing, then you have to, after you put in a cylinder, you have to fill out all this space here, right? All this volumetic space here. So you have to do much overwork. It's not, it's just a not, not the small cylinder anymore, but it's much more, much more work. And this is what, what often managers maybe don't want to pay for or claim, well, well, the cylinder is already there. It seems to look good. Well, why not use it? But if this cylinder looks, maybe this cylinder is crippled here, I don't know, has some flaws and you start building and eventually this will break down, right? That's a different topic. Um, so what, 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 what's then the, the, the effort for the, for the test-driven development? It seems to be the same because when you see the outcome, it, it seems to be the same. But imagine this. Imagine um, you have your shape. Uh, you have your form here and you want to put a, put a cylinder inside. So this is your form. You created the form and now let's go with the cylinder. And now you start programming and figure out, well, yeah, what we want to do is actually not doable by cylinders. We actually, we actually need, you know, we actually need cubes. Yeah, cubes is the, is the way to go. So in this case here, what you do is just remove the cylinder and add in a cube. So it's just like very simple, right? And in this case, you first of all, you started with the cylinder. You figured out, well, well that's not working. So uh, you, you do the cube. And then after you have the cube, you build the form around it, right? But in this case, it's not so easy because, well, you maybe got the cube or maybe maybe you got just the form. Maybe maybe you just got until here and then you figured it already out. But you, you have like this, all this effort around it, right? You have, you have maybe already created this boundary and this boundary and it's a lot of effort going in. And then you have to erase all that work or, or maybe part of it and, and create all this stuff from scratch again. And what happens if you build this and you figure out, well, oh, she, that's not the right size. We have to make it a bigger size here. So you have to create, remove this again. And, and you see, I'm just, I'm just drawing a picture. So it's very easy. But if you're talking about code, that might be a, a real, real good amount of work. Like we're talking about weeks of work. Maybe if you, if you're very unlucky, right, you try to build something and it doesn't work out and you have to no, it doesn't work with, the, with this architecture we need, but that's a different topic altogether. But uh, I just want to emphasize that. Um, because you're building the shape here first, it might lead to, to much more problems when you, when you don't know exactly what you want to have. On the other side, it gives you much more safety uh, in case you, you know what you want to have and you know that this is exactly what I want to have, what, this is exactly what it should behave. So whatever you do afterwards for the pro with the programming, you will always be in the specs. There's a lot more to talk about around this topic, but the video is already long enough. I hope you kind of have an idea um, what I'm trying to tell here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section.